And then you can select this whole thing and then uh, total and or insert. You might have another chart and you might say, what do you recommend Excel for the charts? And it's like, we saw that one last time. We did that one. So let's just, this one isn't too fancy or anything, but it's got that diagonal stuff on the bottom. You could get rid of the title. You could you you could and you could use whatever you can make it you know like that or something. I can change the colors of it. I should probably have the colors match in some way, and so on. And so then I'm gonna put this this charts on another tab so I can hide this tab and then print everything out without all the data because I don't want to see the ugly data in my when I give it to my clients. So I can then hit the plus button here and double click on it. I'm gonna call this sales by customer graph. And then I'm just gonna go back to the left and say I'm holding down control to select those two, right click and copy. I'm just gonna put that over here in A1, paste it. I'll check, I usually go to the page layout so I can see if it fits on a page and then you've got these dotted lines. I don't think that's big enough, so I'm gonna change the orientation. You gotta be off the graph to change the orientation by going to the page layout and I wanna orientate it landscape to give me more detail. There's not enough room. There's not enough room for my, for my flowers or my lettuce. I need to landscape it. This needs some land, I need some hills with some tears or something. So I landscaped it. And so now I can make this large enough, boom. So that looks pretty good. Uh, you know, again, so you could put a title up top. You could put a title on the graph, but you could put a title on the on the whole page, which might be a, an easier thing to do. You could just call these, you know, sales graphs up top. So it depends on what you want to do. That's the, just the general idea of how you put some graphs.